Hey everyone, Cotton Candy TA here and welcome to Beginner's Course Part 2, Accumulation and Distribution. Alright, I'm going to start this lesson with uh, explaining that accumulation and distribution is something that happens in the market 24-7. Uh, there is accumulation followed by a move up, followed by distribution, uh, then a move down, then accumulation, move up, distribution, move down, accumulation, uh, accumulation, distribution, accumulation, distribution. It's a constant cycle that always happens. Uh, the market is never out of uh, the entirety of what accumulation and distribution is. Uh, it's, it's either an accumulation, uh, it's finishing that part of the move, or it's entering distribution, and it's finishing that to go back into accumulation. So, with that said, uh, what is accumulation? So, accumulation is when uh, people are accumulating uh, the coin. So purchasing it, holding it uh, with a target in mind. Form of accumulation would look like this. Something where you have this uh, sideways action or uh, what's also referred to as consolidation or people say the market's making up its mind and it doesn't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna stop this right there and say uh, the term consolidation isn't real. There is no such thing as consolidation. There is no sideways movement in markets. Uh, moving sideways, again, to piggyback off that last statement, uh, there is no such thing as sideways movement in markets. This is called accumulation. Uh, or another famous one that people love to say, I hear it all the time, uh, articles, whatever, webinars. Uh, the market doesn't know what it's doing. It hasn't made up its mind yet. No, the market knows exactly what it's doing. It has made up its mind. This is called accumulation. Uh, in the markets, uh, like I said, there's accumulation followed by a move up, followed by distribution, followed by move down, followed by accumulation. Uh, why does something accumulate? Accumulation happens with a target in mind. People are buying a zone like this, what, what most traders would call uh, trading sideways or, or people who don't understand the deeper theory uh, that's taught to us by uh, founding traders and the people who created these markets. Uh, accumulation happens for a reason because if you're buying a coin, let's think of the psychology for a second. If you are buying something, you are accumulating that coin. You have an objective in mind. What is the objective? The objective is to sell it. So you are accumulating with a target and the target is distribution. So this is what accumulation looks like. And what's the target? Boom, target is right there. Now, oh, magnet tool makes that a little messy. Let's, uh, let's you try to draw that. Uh, distribution right there, or sorry, target I should say, right there. Uh, accumulation followed by a move up, followed by distribution, followed by a move down, followed by accumulation and so forth. Or I don't know what's happening in this move, so you know we won't go that far. But that is what accumulation is. Now, what is distribution? Distribution is the opposite of accumulation. Distribution is when uh, the distributing of that asset goes back onto the market. So people have bought at one price to make money, to make a profit, to make a percentage. They are then redistributing it back into the market. Okay, so accumulation right there. In the red box, we're gonna go distribution. Uh, okay, it doesn't wanna go red. There we go, red box distribution. So, what, what, is, what is really happening here? Uh, there's a period of accumulation, okay? Uh, accumulation is taking uh, that asset off the market, therefore driving the price up. Uh, this is then driving the price up. When you are buying here, if you are in this pool of buyers, you are not buying as a collector, you are not buying to hold this thing for 20 years. Maybe you are, maybe you have a different strategy, but for the most part of it, for the 90%, uh, and this is on a daily chart here, uh, this accumulation has a target. People are buying here with the intent to release it somewhere else, here. Uh, now, now, what is here? Probably some level from the past, uh, doesn't matter. For whatever reason they see this as the target, that is, that is distribution. So, we have accumulation in yellow, distribution in red. So, accumulation is step one, right? Well, I'm just gonna mark these like this, that's step, ooh, that's a bad one, that's a, we're not gonna do that. Uh, accumulation is step one, okay? Uh, the move up is step two. Uh, the distribution is step three. Uh, the move down is part of distribution. That's step four. So with accumulation, a coin moves up. This ends up becoming, uh, you know, late entry on a coin, late accumulation for whatever. It's still another form of accumulation because people are still buying the coin. Price is still going up. Just like the majority of distribution happens here, uh, people are also selling late, missing the opportunity of selling at the top, and distribution is happening, which is still driving this price down. 
Okay, so that is accumulation and distribution. It is a cycle that the market lives in 24-7. Uh, there is no such thing as consolidation or, or the market hasn't made up its mind. It doesn't know what it's doing yet. Uh, it's moving sideways. These things don't exist. They are uh, people who don't understand accumulation and distribution as a theory, as a psychology, uh, and trading is all psychology. Uh, people who don't understand that, this, this, they, they, they say it's consolidating or it's moving sideways. That, that's not true. It's either accumulating or distributing. There's a big difference because if you can recognize accumulation, uh, real accumulation, true accumulation, not, you know, uh, maybe something is still distributing, maybe it's in a down move, uh, maybe it's in a long-term distribution because it's in a bear market, for whatever reason, uh, accumulation and distribution are the reason things happen, right? Just a quick look here. We can see accumulation, right? Maybe, maybe, okay, let's even start that uh, sooner. We can see accumulation here. Coin goes up. What happens after it goes up? It distributes back down. People take their profits. Once it's done distributing down, look what happens. Accumulation, okay? What happens after accumulation? Price goes up, okay? What happens when this move is done? People have now started distributing. Right? Distribution happens, then price moves down. You see the pattern that's forming? And what's happening here? Accumulation. What happens after accumulation? Like clockwork, uh, it goes up to a point where distribution happens because people are taking profits. And then what happens? Uh, distribution in here, and there's all these kind of violent moves. But in here, look what, look what this is. Once people have exited here, they are re entering either here or maybe they re entered here. But uh, oh, you guys can't see that because the camera's in the way. Let me move that for you for one second. I'm just going to put that there for one second. Okay. Uh, what, what happens next is price goes up here, right? It accumulates to redistribute back down. Look at that accumulation, move up, distribution, move down, and so forth and so forth. And so the cycle continues and life goes on. Uh, move the camera back. And, and so the cycle continues on and uh, long-term distribution until accumulation right here happens and then another move up and then distribution uh, and then a small move up because distribution wasn't finally exhausted before uh, accumulation happens there and we go into distribution. So uh, that is accumulation and distribution and, and, and what it is. Okay, uh, what is accumulation? Cover that. What is distribution? Cover that. Consolidation. I want to talk about that for a second. Um, even though I, I already touched on it, I, I, I want to go deeper into that a bit. Consolidation is something that a lot of traders, they use that term um, because, because they think the market is moving sideways or, or, or the market hasn't made up its mind yet. And the market has always made up its mind in what it's doing. It's just, like I said before, it's whether or not you see it. Um, Let's draw a few levels here, see if we can identify some of this uh, accumulation and distribution level. So there'd be a level here, there'd be a level here. Now this is a, what am I, what am I on, weekly chart here. Uh, we got a level here, okay. We got a level here. Uh, let's see, boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, we got a level there. Uh, let's break this back down into the daily and see if that uh, cleared any of these zones up for us. And it did. So, uh, you know, just on the fly, immediately doing this, you know, we can see uh, this level here supports accumulation. Uh, we'll get into that in a much more advanced uh, course, uh, a different lesson. But, but we can see this isn't consolidation. This is a misunderstood term. This isn't the market moving sideways, not knowing what to do. This is accumulation before a move up, okay? Uh, we know that because of price action and what's going on here and how it's not rejecting and continuously moving down, okay? Now, with that in mind, okay, let's look at this for a second. We've got accumulation that happens right here. Oops, we've got accumulation that happens right here. We're gonna turn that back to yellow, make it clear, right? We've got accumulation that happens right there. What happens after accumulation? Distribution. Where does distribution end up? Look at that, right on the level. So that would be the signal for distribution is a level being touched and respected and then a level being touched and respected, right? This is signal for distribution. This is signal for accumulation. So it's not that the market's moving sideways. It hasn't made up its mind. The market's always, its mind is always made up. It knows what it's doing. It's, it's either accumulating or distributing, right? Again, we can see it right here, accumulation distribution on, on a smaller scale. Um, move sideways a bit here. Uh, okay, trend was broken, 
whatever, uh, it looks like right here was another form of accumulation. Right here, big form of accumulation and distribution. You know, what can we gleam off this really quickly? Uh, let's put the magnet on. We've got a level tool here. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, support support line right there. Uh, look what happened when, when our move came down to here and it created this, uh, this level here. It went up, it did its uh, accumulation zone right here, uh, entered distribution right here, uh, continuously distributed down and just like clockwork, like everything else, this was Ripple before it took its big spike up recently. Uh, the news fueled spike, which news helps a move uh, and it will help its violent price action. But the reality is, is this coin was in accumulation, right? And where was accumulation created? Accumulation was created on our identified level right here. So uh, I believe I talked a bit on the last lesson about news and uh, how it's not important. And now maybe this can start to uh, rein in a little bit how somebody could have saw this move before it was happening based on the theory of accumulation, distribution, and the psychology behind it. Uh, simply, simply due to the fact that we had a level, right? Right here. The level was respected, and then we entered a heavy accumulation zone. So this is a daily chart. This is a, a daily um, daily candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven days of accumulation is a lot in the crypto space. With eleven days of accumulation, you're going to have a large move up. Uh, and, and even if you want to call it distribution uh, exhausting from this point here. So distribution has an exhaustion rate too. As things are distributing, the longer something distributes uh, and the longer distribution happens, the bigger the move up is going to be. So that played a big factor into uh, Ripple's price action because the news release was, really wasn't that great. It was that Ripple said they're going to have a cryptocurrency project sometime in the future, uh, which was decent news. It's, it's, it's okay news for Ripple, but look at the chart for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and then I believe I counted eleven. So thirty-one days, a month straight of distribution exhausting on Ripple with the level being respected showed you the massive amount of accumulation this coin went through, right? That is the main reason, not the news, that is the main reason why this coin moved up so much in price is because it went through long-term distribution and heavy accumulation. So accumulation and distribution, very important to know. It's a very basic theory, but it is uh, one of the founding pieces of every single trade that uh, every trader should be doing is, is understanding distribution and accumulation and the moves in between, which is just up and down. Accumulation moves up. Distribution moves down. Uh, simple as that. It's, uh, it, it's the cycle that every coin lives in 24-7. So every trade you make, you need to recognize, am I in an Am I in accumulation or am I entering in distribution, right? Uh, if, if you're, if you're uh, entering this trade somewhere up here, you're going to be entering pretty close to distribution because accumulation already happened way down here. Um, even if you're entering some way half, halfway through here, uh, if, you, if you understand accumulation and distribution and how to apply it, you would have been entering in this zone here for reasons of levels and support and for reasons of accumulation. You wouldn't have had to enter maybe here or here or here and got licked out pretty hard. Uh, wherever you decided to enter on this coin, uh, proper entry would have been right here during accumulation. So understanding accumulation distribution uh, shows you when you should release a coin and, and when you should sell it. And understanding accumulation is, is saying, here's a level, levels being respected for reason X. We're not going to get into what reason X may or may not be in this lesson, but uh, levels being respected due to reason X, therefore we are entering accumulation. So uh, that's my buy target, right? So had you seen this on Ripple, had you seen the heavy accumulation zone, you would have done okay. You would have had a nice little trade, okay? So the psychology of accumulation and distribution. We touched on that a bit, but I'm going to go uh, a bit more into that. So... Uh, psychology of, of accumulation and distribution. People are buying stock with a target in mind, and I, and I talked a bit about this earlier. Uh, people buy here with the intention to sell it. People uh, have targets, right? So uh, when somebody is buying something, they have a sell target in mind. If they entered here, if they enter here, 99% uh, of traders, 
the second they enter, they're saying, okay, how much, how much am I going to make? And this is going to be a great trade. And uh, what's my exit target, right? Or they set a stop loss with an exit target in the back of their mind somewhere. But, uh, you know, they say, oh, my exit target's going to be here. So they, they already know. They, distribution is planned. The, the second after you uh, buy something, distribution is already planned. So, or you're in its planning stage. It's, it's incredible because you go through... Uh, it could be hours of charting or maybe a full day of charting and, and, and you say, uh, you know, you're, you're somewhere here and, and, and this is like a 31 day move and, you know, you've charted this out here and you recognize that, okay, when it touches this line here, when it touches my support, I need to buy. So, you know, 10 days later, you see it triggers your buy, you buy. Uh, and, and that process could take hours, it could take days, it could take weeks. But how fast does distribution happen? Well, the second you buy that coin, you're, you're entering distribution already. You already have a target in mind. You are already saying, uh, sorry, let me just delete this. You are already saying, I bought here and I'm going to make all this money right here. This is just natural human behavior, natural psychology, the way our minds work. We, we, we commit to a purchase uh, with the intention of an outcome. So we commit to that purchase with the intention of making money at X. So accumulation takes a long time to set up, to see, to enter a trade. It takes all this preparation and planning. And that, so it should because you're entering at the right time. You're entering during accumulation, which is the best time. Or, you know, on a first touch, uh, accumulation isn't not, not necessarily all the, always the best time to enter. Uh, we'll dive into that later on, not in this lesson, in another lesson. Um, but the point being is that the psychology behind accumulation and distribution is you'll, you'll spend a monumental amount of time in comparison to plan accumulation but it takes you seconds to plan distribution because you have targets set up and you're saying this target one target two target three clicking a few numbers boom set and you walk away or you set a stop loss and you walk away and, and check your trade you know a couple times a day so just the inherent psychology of accumulation and distribution is that once you buy a once you buy something you are already entering distribution so Keep that in mind, that, that people who are, are purchasing something, they already have a set level where they're distributing. Uh, distribution already happens naturally. It's going to happen at any given level for whatever reason. Um, you know, May that be it's a level, may it be the, the move is strong, may it be news related like it was on Ripple, which really wasn't news related, but the news definitely helped the move. It definitely helped it wick some extra candles uh, or, or wick, wick some extra levels, I should say, a more proper way to say it. Okay, um, what and when to buy and sell. What to and when to buy and sell. Uh, that does, you know, I pretty much already touched on that, but uh, just, just to anchor it down again. If you are going to spend your time and uh, this move, and I'm going to move this chart sideways a bit so we can just, you know, kind of pretend like this is happening. We see this low right here. Let's delete this. We see this move happening. We have a swing low. Okay, swing low for now, uh, without getting too much into it, because there's different types of swing lows, and uh, you know they create different kinds of moves. Um, for now, we can see that this swing low is support. So uh, in this moment, we are saying, okay, look, we just created a swing low. We know this is target for the future. Um, let's try to buy on on this again in the future. Okay, so days pass by, it moves up. You know, uh, it, it, it doesn't kind of uh, come to a previous level here. It actually does right here. It, uh, it actually comes to this swing low right here. So this level, it, it, uh, it, it does test and reject that level. So actually with that, with that said, with it rejecting this level here, uh, not quite wicking it, it's, it's going to come down and touch support again. So that was kind of the end of this move. And as days go on, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Da, 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 da. Oh, look what happens. Touch right there. So we know that's our entry, right? We know that's our entry. So how do we properly enter accumulation and distribution? With patience, with discipline, and with knowledge. That's how we enter accumulation and distribution. And uh, it, it, provi it, provi it provides for us uh, a further short opportunity where, you know, this move... It's, it's move up is, is very subtle and soft. It's not, you know, coming up to wick a level. It's not coming up to test something. Uh, you know, it has simply, oops, what happened there? Okay. It has simply just uh, touched the level again, rejected a dump, come up a little bit and, and test it down again. So, uh, you know, 
technically this would have been buy zone right there and and that's okay you, you could have bought back here and it's you know all the same not quite it would have been a better, better entry later for other reasons um, but that's how you enter accumulation and, and buying properly is you you be patient and you use knowledge and you use the understanding of accumulation and distribution as to uh, why a coin might be doing what it's doing. So this goes into heavy accumulation and then look what happens after, right? News release comes out, how many levels does it wick? And now, now these aren't all the indefinite levels. These are just quickly what I draw on. So, you know, uh, just respect the fact that this is just quick so we're just counting this as play along right now one two three four five wix five levels here uh pretty strong move you know distribution happens uh if i had to guess you know it would have happened right at this level mm, not because i'm looking at the chart but because uh this wick here has wicked past this level and uh rejected any further move up had it come and 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 touched this at least it doesn't have to wick past it you know wicking past it like that is something completely different than touching and respecting a level but because this wicks past uh the move is over right not not going to get into why but the move is over uh and then coming back down we can see how it's kind of respecting these levels still again so uh when and why to buy that's why Again, knowledge, psychology, understanding, and uh, practice, right? Now, the final part of this is uh, tying accumulation and distribution into all of your trades. Uh, every time we trade at a professional level, at a beginner's level, no matter, no matter what level you're at, you are going to want to practice accumulation and distribution. You need to tie in looking at your levels uh, with support and resistances with the uh, theory and the understanding of is this coin accumulating or distributing. Accumulation and distribution doesn't always have to happen on, on the bottom touch of a coin like this, right? Maybe let's go to something more uh, immediate here. Let's just go to a one hour chart and uh, maybe, maybe look at, see if we can find a spot where uh, it's pretty gleamingly obvious. Maybe the one hour chart's a little too congested. Maybe the four hour chart's a little uh, easier, gonna be easier to do this on. Right, so immediately I see uh, one one pretty glaring thing here, uh, a bleed trend, uh, or what I call a bleed trend. Uh, this bleed can't can't get out of this move until it has kind of broken this line here, right? Like we've got a swing high. Uh, let's do one here too, right? You, we can see that same pattern right here, right? Uh, but you know, focusing focusing on this one, just just to show you guys that that pattern exists everywhere, right? So let's let's dissect this a bit um, with accumulation and distribution in mind. So we got a swing high, the move is coming down. This is distribution because it is rejecting a break. Okay, so when we are looking at this level here. Uh, we need to do something very specific to break this bleed. And, and uh, I don't know, maybe not a lot of people refer to it, to, to it as the bleed, but I call the dump kind of the bleed, the bleeding of price. When is the bleeding gonna stop? When is this dump ending? Like, God, save me from this bleed if I didn't sell yet. Like, get me out. <laughs> that's, that's the bleed, that's, that's what it is, right? So this bleed is happening and, and this bleed is gonna continue happening until these wicks stop rejecting this level and this coin has time it looks like it tried to right here it has time to puncture sideways and and why i say puncture sideways is this has to stop this bleed and start to move sideways like this 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 has to find its bottom uh for whatever reason that this is the bottom right here right for whatever reason in the past that this bottom got created it's probably in here somewhere on a different time frame right it might be a daily level it might be a, a, a strong six hour or 12 hour level for whatever reason it has to find this bottom and it has to move sideways to break through here it does break through you see but then what happens is it continuously touches this trend so now this trend is not acting as resistance to the bleed anymore now it's acting as support but this bleed still isn't done right bounce bounce breaks that again before it can come back out and create this sideways action to exit this bleed. So this is um, accumulation and distribution in its, in its own. This, the entirety of this move, and the reason I'm showing you on this time frame is because uh, a lot of times I see my traders and, and guys that I'm training or, or whoever I'm, I'm helping, uh, whatever the case may be, they're looking at 15 minute charts or they're looking at one hour charts and, and a 15 minute chart like, this bleed is torturous. You're sitting here biting your nails at your computer screen for the next, 
you know, indef it feels like indefinite. It's it's a long time. This is this is a you know, what is this October? Okay, what do we have? Uh, September thirtieth, all the way to October eleventh, twelfth yet even. Twelve days you're biting your nails, looking at when does this bleed stop, right? So, you know, looking at these uh, on a, on a one hour chart or a fifteen minute chart. Uh, Accumulation and distribution is happening. You're just you, sometimes you may be too zoomed in time frame wise, or sometimes may, you may be looking too close. Uh, you know, we look at this on a daily level, and and what does that bleed look like? Okay, let's just click auto. Let's zoom in a bit. I'm gonna get rid of some of these levels. Clear this up a bit. You know, what does this bleed look like on the daily? It looks exactly like it does. <laughs> It comes and it respects this bleed, and then it still tries to break out of it. And uh, over that many days, what does it look like on the weekly? Right? It's just a few candles. Uh, it's just a few candles of bleed on a weekly. You know, it's just two candles. But the point being is, is you can't. You know, di distribution happens sometimes over short periods or over long periods. And a very important takeaway from this is look at how long accumulation was here. Accumulation was 31 days here. So why couldn't distribution be 11 days here? Because that's the way accumulation and distribution works. The longer the accumulation, the bigger the move up because there is less and less on the market for people to buy. And when there's less for people to buy, the price is gonna move up more. So, so the longer the span of time, the bigger the move usually is. So let's think about that for a second. 31 days, well, no wonder Ripple jumped up so much. It had 31 days of accumulation, uh, followed by its distribution period. Because it had 31 days of accumulation, it's gonna have a large amount of distribution as well. So uh, the whole point and the idea behind that is that distribution happens uh, on small time frames and it happens on long time frames. And try not to get too stuck in, in, in this, this, these 15 minute charts or the one hour charts. Uh, you know, start looking at four hour charts, start looking at daily charts. Uh, you know, this is something where the smart trader would have seen the accumulation pattern here, right? Well, they would, they would have been back here. They would have, you know, sold up here, distributed up there. And then they would have seen this as look at accumulation is happening. And they would have, uh, either sold here and been out of the trade. Uh, but look again, another accumulation period before the move up and, and they would have sold here and they wouldn't have been panicking to get out, right? So accumulation and distribution, that's uh, I think a pretty good uh, synopsis of it and uh, that should wrap it up. Pretty sure we covered everything. Uh, what is accumulation? Cover that. What is distribution? Cover that. Consolidation, moving sideways, how it does not exist. Let's get rid of that one because that's just doesn't, it's not, it's not real. There is no consolidation. There is no, the market's making up its mind. The market knows exactly what it's doing. And I want to stress that again for probably a third or fourth time. The market knows what it is. The people know what it's doing. The smart traders, the people who are accumulating large amounts know what it's doing. It's the people who don't quite understand that theory of accumulation and distribution who are saying things like, well, it's consolidation or ah, the market's moving sideways. It doesn't know what it's doing. No, it knows exactly what it's doing. Uh, those terms don't exist. It's just a misunderstanding and that's okay. Um, you know, we're here to train people and educate people. So. Uh, kudos to that. Uh, psychology of accumulation and distribution covered that, why it moves up and down uh, and what happens, right? So just to recap, you have accumulation followed by a move up, uh, which leads into distribution followed by a move down. Accumulation, then up, distribution, then move down. Then accumulation, then move up, right? So it's four parts to that move. Uh, the gathering of, of, of the currency, the moving up of that, the redistribution back onto the market, and then the moving down. What to buy? Uh, and when to sell, buy during accumulation, sell during distribution. We will uh, be able to easier, easier identify that as we go on through this course and start seeing levels and different things and momentum and targets. Targets uh, will be a big one. And uh, tying into accumulation and, distribu and distribution to all of your trades. Accumulation and distribution happens across trends. It happens across levels of support. It happens for different reasons at different times. And uh, it's okay if, if this one doesn't make uh, total sense right now, it's not going to. Uh, because you need to understand different things like momentum, you need to understand different things like levels, uh, targets, 
valleys, trends, peaks. Uh, and then even, even after a basic understanding of these concepts, we need to go further in, into the advanced of to what real levels are and how they're made and what it means when something uh, maybe wicks past the level or does this or does that and all, all these different theories that exist out there. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, accumulation and distribution. Uh, very important part of, of your training, very important part of your uh, every single trade that you ever enter, mm, professional or, or, or beginner, accumulation and distribution. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, next video um, coming soon. Take care, guys.